I didn't realize that you were there. I was just doing a little light reading. Um, well, welcome to the second episode of our Town Hall series. If you missed the first episode, please go to the New Covenant Academy YouTube channel. To stay up to date on all of our NCA videos, you can subscribe and turn on notifications. Over the last month, there have been several developments that I would like to, to update you on. First, have you seen our Liberty Campus lately? The demolition started shortly after episode one, and as you can see in these pictures, Liberty Campus is in the process of change. We are all excited to see this project get underway, and we are still looking for some financial supporters to get us over the finish line for this project. If you're interested in supporting, please reach out to Glenda Scott in development, Marla Schoenwetter, our CFO, or myself. We hope you're able to make it to the Biblical Worldview presentation hosted by Seminole Baptist on August 13th. For those that may have missed the event, we will be posting the video to our YouTube channel in the coming weeks. Our presenter, Stefan Wilson, followed up his amazing presentation to families by speaking to all of our faculty and staff. I truly believe that we will see the fruit of these presentations in all of our conversations with students and families. Just this week, we welcomed all of our faculty and staff back to campus. As I gave the welcome address to this very large group, I spoke specifically about being on mission in everything we do. I believe that New Covenant Academy faculty and staff have an amazing opportunity and responsibility to grow disciples for the Lord. This responsibility can be heavy at times, but I believe that God has called each and every one of our faculty and staff for a time such as this. We welcome the opportunity to assist in the spiritual growth of your children while at the same time growing them academically. If you have not started already, I would ask that you please pray for the school and specifically for the interactions and conversations that our NCA faculty and staff will have with your children. It's going to be a great year and the first day is just around the corner. As the high school principal the last two years, whenever we added a new staff member, I would send out a video introducing them to the community. My guest today is an individual that will impact all of our students and teachers from junior kindergarten all the way up through 12th grade. His role has been talked about for many months and I'm excited to introduce all of you to John Edwards, our Director of Learning. Oh, well, thank you, Matt. Although for a certain subset of the NCA community, this is more of a reintroduction. As some of our alumni and long tenured faculty and staff might recall, I taught Spanish here at New Covenant back in 2006 and 2007. So to all of my former students and colleagues, as well as my new ones, hola. Since you were last at NCA, where has your journey taken you? Well, for starters, I went to seminary in Texas, during which time I served in a number of capacities while earning my first master's degree in divinity. As a graduate assistant to two separate professors, a researcher for the North American Mission Board, and a church planter, as well as an equipper of other church planters through the Church Planting Institute at Southwestern Seminary. After seminary, my wife and I returned to Missouri to plant a church just outside of Springfield, and then we moved to Washington, D.C. to plant a, another church in our nation's capital. After our time in D.C., we moved back to Springfield, and after about 10 years altogether in ministry, I earned my Master of Education degree in curriculum and instruction. So for the past seven years, I served as a high school English teacher and student council sponsor in Springfield, as well as in Republic, where I worked extensively with various uh, curriculum teams, as well as on the SPS superintendent's advisory panel to help bring about greater alignment and rigor within their secondary curriculum. So this role is brand new to NCA. You're coming back into NCA. Mm -hmm. um, how do you see this role impacting students? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I would like to start by just saying that I feel like God has really gifted me with two great passions, mm -hmm. and those would be education and ministry. And so it's my, my great hope to bring those twin passions to bear in the advancement of NCA's mission. And, and so that's how I see this role, as a great privilege and opportunity for me to serve the entire NCA community, both educationally and ministerially. So for our faculty and staff, that means continually encouraging and equipping those around me to use their God-given uh, gifts to make disciples who pursue academic excellence and biblical truth and Christ-like character. And more specifically, that means providing high-quality, research-backed, and, and most importantly, biblically-aligned uh, means of mentoring and professionally developing our staff so that they might help our students grow in NCA's ABCs. So to that end, I aim to equip our teachers during our new teacher collaboration time, 
as well as during our other teacher workshops to better equip our students to cultivate what I call the five C's of 21st century skills. Now, you already recognize these, at least in part, as, as the four C's, so that's collaboration, communication, uh, creativity, and critical thinking. And those are crucial skills for our students to develop as they prepare for their future endeavors. But um, I like to add to those four C's a fifth one, which is, of course, Christ-likeness. So I aim to filter all of our professional development through a distinctly biblical lens such that the end result will be a plethora of Christ-like graduates who move on from this place thoroughly equipped, no matter what they might do to impact our world for God's glory. Wow, wow, um, that's, that's awesome. I love the five C's approach. Um, lastly, but certainly not least, tell us about your family. All right, well, uh, yeah, so for starters, I just celebrated my 17th anniversary with my, my best friend and, and the greatest supporter I've ever had in my life and just the, the supreme love of my life, Elena. And, you know, Proverbs 18.22 says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. And Elena has been a remarkably good thing for me indeed. She is entering her sixth year as a teacher at Cowden Elementary here in Springfield and her 12th year overall in elementary education. We both teach and lead in various capacities at our church, including in Sunday school, children's church, the student ministry, and Awana. And together we have two excited new warriors. So Abby is a soon-to-be fifth grader at our Liberty campus and Robert will be a third grader at our Warrior Campus. And let's see, something unique about me. Well, I uh, had the opportunity to live in th all three of our past or present capital cities of the most, you know, the major um, North American countries. So that would be Washington, D.C., Toronto, and Mexico City. And kind of an interesting thing about that, whenever I lived in Mexico, I was not yet a believer. In fact, I was an atheist. But that didn't stop God from using me in some pretty interesting ways. So. Uh, while I was there in his, his great providence, he supplied me with a really, really good friend who is the son of missionaries. Okay. And in addition to sharing the gospel with me and just generally being a good, you know, good influence on me, he invited me to help his family build a church building in the heart of Mexico City. And so before I was a church planter, let alone a believer, I was already building churches. John, that was an amazing story. I'm really glad that you shared that with us. NCA community, please join me in welcoming John and his family this week. You'll be able to catch them at the NCA picnic and you can come by and introduce yourself or for some of our families, you might be reintroducing mm -hmm. yourself. John, I personally just wanna say thank you for being our second guest here on the Town Hall and thanks for walking beside me as we grow NCA and we're on mission. Mm -hmm. NCA families, I'm excited to share with you some of the events that are coming your way. On August 17th, NCA will host our annual back to school picnic at Rutledge Wilson Park from six o'clock to eight o'clock. The entire family is welcome to join us. It is a great time for fun, food, and fellowship. On August 21st, summer break officially ends with the first day of school. As Matt Searson told me each year, there can be only one first day of school. On the first day, we'll have two Boohoo breakfast events. One will be for our kindergarten parents and another for our junior kindergarten parents. Please check your email for details. While our younger parents might be sad, we will host our annual Woohoo Breakfast for the parents of the class of 2024. There will be an opportunity to meet our new high school principal, Matt Rabinowitz, and our new high school counselor, Sarah Peterson. Once school is back in session, each division will host their back to school night for parents to meet the teachers. The times are staggered so the parents of multiple children can meet all of their children's teachers. Junior Kindergarten will host their event at the Grace Campus on August 24th from 5.30 to 6.30. Kindergarten through first grade will host their event at the Warrior Campus on August 24th from 5.30 to 6. Second grade through fourth grade will host their event at the Warrior Campus on August 24th from 6.30 to 7. Our intermediate and junior high will host their event at the Liberty Campus on a different date, August 31st from 6 o'clock to 8.30. And lastly, our high school will host their event at the Warrior Campus on August 24th from 7 o'clock to 8.30. NCA families, I am honored to share with you how excited all of our faculty and staff are to have your students this year. There is a buzz around campus in anticipation for that first day of school. And as we've talked about this year's theme as a group, everyone has rallied around the idea that together we are on mission. Since the recording of our first town hall episode, our seniors went out on their mission trip in the summer for the first time ever. They went out on mission to Duncan Falls, Ohio to serve the Appalachian community. It's amazing to hear some of the stories that have already come back, and I invite you to ask a senior about what it was like to be out there on mission.